and uh, talk to you about um, the German ideas of the internet and uh, how to do with that. One month ago, you probably have heard here as well, the European Court of Justice issued a ruling which came right out of the blue. For Google, for all the experts, even for the court's own ad advocate general. The decision was a complete surprise. The only person who will have expected it was Mr. Gonzalez, the plaintiff in the original case. He had challenged the linking of his name to a newspaper article from 16 years ago. The article was about the fact that his house should be repossessed. He claimed that this violated his privacy. Mr. Gonzalez won the case, but I bet no one will ever forget about the reposition of his house by now. For internet users, society, policymakers, and the internet companies, at least in Europe, this ruling makes a U-turn. The European Court has issued a decision on rights to privacy in a digital age. One person in Germany who really fought for all that and for a democratic net sadly passed by today. Frank Schirmacher today died and we are all very sorry from the German delegation because he of, of course or, or for sure was the person who really got the discussion about the democratic part of the net in a very high level in Germany. Coming back to the decision, I think it is correct. It states clearly that the principle that might is right doesn't apply in the internet. We want the power to be with the law, not the law to be with the powerful, in the internet as elsewhere. It must be possible to uphold the fundamental rights which have been built up in the analog world, even in this digital age. Probably they will need to be reinforced simply to the fact of the boundless nature and the speed of the internet. Most people in Germany have welcomed the ruling. It is good to see that Google has responded very quickly and is setting up a procedure for delays, dilatations. This is good, only the fact that they ask the people to give up a copy of the identity card makes the Twitter community in Germany not their head. But still, this is going to work out as well, I'm quite sure. 12,000 Europeans applied for delations of links on the very first day. This shows that many people are concerned about their online image and want to assert their right to change, linked to their right to present themselves in public. Frau St. Angelo, wären Sie denn so nett und würden Sie mir auch das Wasser geben? In our digital world, the individual's right of self-determination means the right to dispose of one's own data. Transparency and certain rules are indispensable if people are to have digital autonomy and we are working to put these rules in place. Ladies and gentlemen, we know that the digital world is the world in which most people live. The business community cannot do without it. So we want to make use of the creativity and the intentness that we have in Europe to safeguard participation, liberty and prosperity for some 500 million people in Europe. What are our objectives for Germany? Germany, you sure know, is an innovative country, its productivity is the highest in the world and its infrastructure is well developed. And Germany is by far the largest market in Europe. Our GDP last year was 2.7 billion euros and we account for 21% of Europe's GDP. 
what we call the German Mittelstand, our small and medium-sized business, provides 60% of the jobs and 83% of the training places. He, the Mittelstand, makes a vital contribution towards sustainable growth in employment and incomes in Germany. These companies generate more than half of our added value in Germany. And Germany products a large number of hidden champions. Those smaller companies which conquer the world's market through innovation, quality and client orientation. Germany also has a strong industrial base. Bosch, Siemens, BMW, Mercedes, Audi. These brands are all well known and popular in your country as well. Our industrial sector provides 50 million jobs, directly and indirectly, and drives out our export markets. But many people will not be aware that the digital economy has also become an economic heavyweight in Germany. Some 900,000 people work in this sector in my country. That's more than work in our famous automotive industry. We want to utilize the innovative strengths of these companies and digitalize our industry. In Germany, we call it Industry 4.0. You call it the Internet of Things. This is the fourth industrial revolution, we believe, after the steam engine, the assembly line, the electronics, and now we have networking and digitization leading to the Internet of Things. This will dramatically change manufacturing processes. And the Internet of Things is probably the greatest high-tech high grow market in the future. All the manufacturers of products, whether cars, machineries, or household goods, will be on board. You probably know the market researcher Gardner. They found out that by 2026, some 26 billion individual applications will be networked with the internet around the world. And within the industry, the number will surely the fa be far greater. We in Germany, want to pioneer the industri industrial internet by linking together our expertise in mecha mechanical engineering with a new world of data. This is what the German government, government wants to force in the next three years until the next election, of course. And um, we uh, therefore uh, make great efforts to um, develop the Industry 4.0. Another focus of our national interest is the question of data protection and data security. This is an important issue for German citizens, as I'm sure you are aware. In future, data security will be an issue which affects their companies in West, and we think that data security will give the opportunity for new business models in the future. As such, we want to make data security a quality mark in order to regain the trust of Internet users following the disclosures in the NSA spying scandal. The problem of commercial spionage is also a major concern in Europe and um, in Germany. So anyone who wants to have any online security at all will need to use encryption and protection mechanisms. In view of our good IT sector and the fact that people know that Germany has a high level of data protection, we want to make secure IT made in Germany into a brand. Our goal must be 
to make foreign-made technology secure by introducing secure components of our own. This will then ensure that we in Germany and in Europe can use this technology without having to fear that our communication is being intercepted. We already have very good companies in Germany which have specialized in the field of encryption technology and IT security technology. And there is good cooperation with the scientific community in this field. University and research institutes are driving innovations in this field. In all of these areas, we need innovative abilities of startup and skilled workers from Germany, Europe, and all over the world. They must support and drive the digitization of industry and society. Thanks to their unconventional approach, startups are high innovative and very modern economy needs this. They create attractive jobs and fresh dynamic, which can open new high growth markets for the old established sectors. As such, it is important for us to ensure that young startups enjoy an optimal environment for entrepreneurship and growth in Germany so that their creative ideas can succeed. We have set up a special advisory board for the Economic Affairs Minister, consisting of startups, business angels, and representatives of the digital economy. They hold regular meetings with the minister and use this direct contact to tell us about the opportunity and challenges they experience. Berlin, you might have noticed, has become extremely attractive for startups and has still a lot potential to grow. Up to 2020, startups, we hope, will generate 10,000 new jobs. That's at least what McKinsey uh, tell us uh, in their studies about Berlin 2020. Berlin is already the number one city for startups in Germany and may well develop into the leading startup metropole in Europe. Just yesterday, the mayor of Berlin opened the factory, a place with 16,000 square meters for startups, VCs, and others. Even Eric Smith, Smith from Google was there to have a speech at the opening. In recent years, the startup scene all over Germany has kept expanding, benefiting from the very good working and living environment. After all, this group of entrepreneurs believe that work must be fun. That's something we found here on our traveling as well. And like other countries in Germany, like Munich or Hamburg or some parts of North Rhine-Westphalia, Berlin offers a high quality of life, good infrastructure and affordable housing, excellent university, and research establish establishments. Moreover, the overall economic situation is good and Germany has a strong industrial sector which helps to find new ideas and find ideas of matching the new economy and the old economy together. You can imagine that I was thrilled to hear that in the second quarter of last year, startups in Berlin raised more venture capital than London-based startups. There can be no doubt, however, that you here in the west of California are continuing to set the pace in the international startup scene and are a role model for the entire world. And this is why we came here from Germany with a group of about um, 35, 40 young entrepreneurs to see what the mind setting or how the mind setting works in the Silicon Valley and in San Francisco. 
and uh, what the fruitful humus um, you have to make the growth of the clusters of innovation and global internet companies going. Uh, it was quite a quite interesting days for us so far. We uh, met a lot of people and learned a lot, I guess. And all the kids, uh, uh, kids not kids, men <laughs> traveling here learned a lot and got some really good ideas what they can do in the following time in Germany. Because really Silicon Valley has a unique network of entrepreneurs, venture capitalists, business angels, and any venture capitalists and business angels are also most welcome to come to Germany and spend their monies in upcoming companies in Germany because this is definitely the point we found out that this is, um, has to be better in Germany. Um, because we can learn a lot over here, the Ministry of uh, Economic Affairs set up a Silicon Valley accelerator. That means that startup companies in Germany have the chance to go here for three months, get connected, and get the possibilities to sell their products over here or to figure out how it can work better. This really works very well, as we um, noticed. And um, this is the reason as well why the ministry decided to extend this accelerator program um, and set up a new site in New York City, which will open in autumn this year. I hope what I have said makes you want to come to Germany and Europe and set up in a business over there. We have plenty of garages in which you can launch your first European venture. Also, uh, the uh, uh, it might be more difficult to start up a business in a garage in Germany than it is over here. So thank you very much again for inviting me and uh, have a fruitful day.